Hey guys, it's October 31st and it's, that's right, Reformation Day! Wow! <sighs> Reformation Day? Yeah, Reformation Day. So like, this is the day historically that a gentleman named Martin Luther went to the Wittenberg door and the the door of the church at the All Saints Church and he took a little piece of paper with five statements, five very short, simple, life-changing, church-changing, church history-changing statements and he nailed it to the door there at Wittenberg at that church. And those five statements said this, by faith alone, by scripture alone, by grace alone, through Christ alone, and to the glory of God alone. I'm telling you, this was a big deal. Up until this point, there had been a totally different belief system that you needed other people and you needed fillers and you needed... Um, what I guess you could just say is props, so to speak, to fill in that gap in order to have salvation, to have that security of faith in heaven. And Martin Luther, upon studying the scripture, because he believed that prior to it, upon studying the scripture, he could come to no other conclusion that that was wrong. And it was truly scripture alone that the truth of God's word, what was revealed in scripture, was all that we needed. Everything we needed to know about God, it's already in here. And then he said, by faith alone, it's not based on works. It's not on how many little old ladies you help across the street or how many times you bite your lip with your husband and don't say anything, even though you really want to. It's not about helping out the neighbors or contributing money to really great charities. Works has nothing to do with it. It's by faith and by grace alone, as scripture says in the book of Ephesians, that it's a gift of God, it's a gift of grace given to you by grace. It's not of works, because none of us can boast about that. And then for him to say, to the glory of God alone, all of these things, salvation and life and understanding, it all goes to the glory of God. So this is really a pretty big deal. So if you're celebrating All Hallows Eve tonight and you've got the kiddos all dressed up and you're doing your thing, all right, go do that. But if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, if, if the Word of God is a predominant uh, theme in your life, in your family, in your home, I want to encourage you to do a quick little Google search and put in Martin Luther, you know, sola scripture, you know, scripture alone. And I put that in there and just read a little bit, you know, go to WikiLeaks if you, WikiLeaks, what is that? Wikipedia. <laughs> I don't think WikiLeaks has Martin Luther in there, but to go to Wikipedia if you want to. I prefer that you go to something a little more established than that, but uh, find out some information about Martin Luther. Read about those five dramatic statements that upended religious church world life to this day. It's impacted us to this day. And so that's what you, I would like you to do today. I'm going to look forward to talking to you tomorrow. And until then, that's Life with Julie.